Hey guys, my name is Dane, and for those of you who likes World War II first person shooters, here's a treat for you. It's an insurgency mod called Day of Infamy, and this is basically a community mod for insurgency that takes all of the weapons, models and places them in a World War II battlefield. And even though it's an extremely early version of the mod, it feels quite authentic. The creators of Insurgency have taken over the mod and the modding community are all able to help improve this game, add more World War II stuff, weapons, models, sounds, etc. You see, this is a great way to make sure that the players get what they want because they are helping the creating process and they have a direct input to the features being added to the mod and the future expansion. And when this mod ends up becoming a full-on expansion for Insurgency, it will be free for everyone who owns Insurgency. And you can play it now if you want. Do keep in mind that it's nowhere like Battlefield 4. There's no spotting system, there's extremely low time to kill, like one bullet from an M1 Garand and snipers. And I think it's two or three from machine guns. Uh, well, I think it's three for pistols, before you kill them basically. And there's only a few servers that provide a kill feed, so you won't know if you got the kill unless you saw the player fall down from your shot. In the first 5 minutes, it was kinda hard for me to adjust from my Battlefield 4 playstyle over to be more slow and steady pace of the Insurgency game. But once I was in the groove, I was rocking the mood. I know a lot of you want the next Battlefield to be about World War II, and I've said that I would rather they go in a different direction. To clarify, it's not like I don't like World War II. I love that era and one of my all-time favorite weapons are from that time and used in games about World War II. It's of course the American M1 Garand. You guys probably like the feeling of peeling off plastic from a new monitor screen or a new phone or anything with a glass. Or you might love popping bubble plast or listen to the sound of it. Me? Well, there's no sweeter sound to my ears than this one. <laughs> It's sweet music to my ears and it brings me way back to when I fell in love with first person shooters. And I love the versatility of the M1 brand, especially in Insurgency with the high rate of fire up close and the sure one body shot kill for when I feel like I want to snipe. But back to the mod. It's all about authenticity. And maps like Omaha Beach and Bastogne and more maps will be added as well but they are in the game. Like these are the maps that you saw in... Um, movies and in earlier World War II games. And new game modes will arrive other than the ones already implemented in Insurgency and they will be scripted around the authenticity <laughs> Sorry about that. Authenticity of the World War II maps. More faction than just US and Germany but only when created of course. But they will be added later on so like Russia and Japan and the according maps will be added as well. And Britain will, I think Britain is in the works right now. And anyone with the skill and the resources to make something authentic will be able to help improve the game and in the end help provide the best gameplay experience achievable from this mod. So if you like Insurgency, or hardcore first person shooters, realistic shooters or just World War 2 shooters, this mod and in general the Insurgency game is something for you. It's easy to get into and there's a high reward for accurate players because of the low time to kill in this game. And I felt so nostalgic and I was like back in my old childish self. I know I'm childish now but yeah. <laughs> but back when Medal of Honor was the best games out and Day of Defeat was rising up. Funny thing that Day of Defeat Source is the exact game that got me into my love of sniping. My second most favorite weapon in Battlefield Bad Company 2 was of course the M1 Garand. I don't really have much else to say about Day of Infamy other than it's got a bright future and more certain than many other games out there because it's mostly in the hands of the community and they will provide an expansion worth the wait. But then again, why wait? You can play it now, I said, but do keep in mind because I said in the beginning, this is an extremely early edition of the mod. Anyway, I like this mod and I thought that you'd like an update on it. I'm pretty sure other YouTubers have done so already, but here's my take on it at least. And since so many of you like World War II games, I really wanted to show you guys. I fell in love with this. I can't wait for this to be fully fledged and be the full-on expansion. And I think there's just so much to it and I can't wait to play all of the different things. I mean, even if the next Battlefield 
game will be World War II, I will still be playing this game because Battlefield 4 will have the, well, Battlefield feel to it. And if I feel like I want something way more realistic and way more hardcore, so I feel like I'm rewarded for my extremely accurate shots, then I'm gonna go over to Insurgency. So yeah, that's it for this time guys, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of this mod and what you think of Insurgency in general. Or is the more hardcore realistic first person shooters not for you? Let me know in the comments below and like this video if, well, you liked it. Share it with your friends and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you.